Today I want to give you a tour of my small camper van after one year of actual use. This is a 2020 ProMaster City, which I've modified and upgraded over the last year. Let's start with the outside. I painted the bottom skirt back and front with Raptor liner as a way to give the van a little extra durability and an aesthetic boost. The official use of NASA logos are strictly confidential. The roof rack is a custom build by AVC rig out of Berthoud, Colorado, which matches up perfectly to my Thule awning, which I find indispensable for hot sunny days and very wet weather. Because I do a lot of cycling, I went with the Kuat Piston Pro Hitch Mount Rack. I made a whole video about why I like this rack, but the main reason I like this rack is because it connects to the brakes and blinkers, which makes it an extension of the van. I'll put links to everything down below. I also added an Amazon lift kit to this thing to give it an extra inch and a half of clearance, which I found to be very beneficial for getting to places exactly like this, because the roads are horrendous and any little thing helps. The details on the tires are just because I can't help myself. I will upgrade to an all-terrain tire, but I figured why not use the ones that are on there first? They don't last forever. Oh, and the average fuel economy on this rig is around 26 miles a gallon. That's part of the reason I decided to go with the smaller van. Bigger is not always better. The custom build-out on this van was done by AVC Rig. Let's take a look. I call this build out modest luxury because it's not completely over the top, but it's not the same as just sleeping on a cot. The idea was to have a modular build, to have a bench that I could sit upright in, which turns into a bed with five compartments underneath. One of them for my duffel bag and four of them with cubbies inside of them. One for food, one for riding clothes, one for toiletries, and one for sleeping bag. To convert the bench into a bed, you just flip this little switch, pull the extensions out, and then use the backrests to fill in the rest of the bed. And I like to use this Pendleton blanket to cover up the seams. And even though I'm six foot tall, I still have plenty of room. I've been very happy with the tactical camo seat covers, which preserves the original upholstery, looks better, plus there's all these extra molly straps on the back, so I can attach bags and different items, which I use because a lot of the time is spent in the back of the van. It's a really good way to use that vertical space. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed, now might be the time. On the ceiling, I use this net webbing, which just hooks into the ceiling panel, and that's where we store our DIY window covers. Out of the way and always flat. For the galley, there's a lot going on. There's a hideaway sink, which is fed by a simple foot pump, which connects to a two gallon or eight liter water container. I also have an extra one gallon fresh water container for just purely drinking out of. And the gray water drains into a one gallon water catchment. I find the sink to be very helpful. I use it for rinsing off after rides, cleaning dishes. It's just nice to be able to wash your hands with actual water whenever you want to. And I do have a backup two gallon water container, which I've never actually needed. And the thing that I didn't think I needed originally, but have added and love is this small ice co fridge. It runs off of this Yeti 500 lithium ion battery which is charged by a flexible solar panel on the roof of the van. Underneath the battery is where I store all of my cooking equipment. I use a jet boil for quick water boiling and a Trangia backpacking setup when I feel like actually cooking things. I run both of them off of separate propane canisters. Another tool I found to be very helpful is this candelier. It gives off great light when it's dark and when it's cold, it emits heat. So it's kind of win-win. Plus it's contained, so it's nice to have a candle that's not just a regular candle. As they melt, there's a spring that moves the tip up so the light is always at the same point. Brilliant. A couple extra little bits are just random hooks for hanging things, a thermometer which velcros to the wall, and this mirror which I use for putting sunblock on my face. It's not necessary, it's just, I just think it's cool. Under the front seat is where I store my hatchet for chopping wood, my first aid kit, and my vehicle tire repair. Here in the back is where I have my very tiny garage. It houses a floor pump and pressure gauge for the bikes, two stools for quick seating around the van, the lock for the bike rack, and my Nemo portable shower, which is actually very helpful. If you leave it on top of the van on a sunny day, you are guaranteed to have a warm shower after your ride. Oh, and to set up your shower, I'll just string a towel right here on these back doors and clip them up with these little clips. It's perfect, it works great. 
A few other things I keep on hand are a Helinox one chair if we're actually hanging out at camp and a Big Agnes camping table for cooking outside. And another thing I always leave in the van are some foam Birkenstocks. I always find a use for them. Now I wanna show you what it's actually like to camp out in this thing and go for a ride. I'm telling you, it's gonna be good. <laughs> 